Now to a story the Target 12 has been tracking for years. The priciest IT project in the state is getting more expensive. We've learned the estimated cost to operate Rhode Island's benefits el eligibility computer system through 2021 has now grown to more than $656 million. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell joins us now with the details. According to the latest estimate, state taxpayers will foot $154 million for UHIP, while the rest of the cost is expected to be covered by the feds. A new document reveals Rhode Island's share of UHIP costs is rising. $154 million represents 23% of UHIP's latest total budget. A year ago, the state's share was pegged at 21%. This system was just, you know, Stop the part. UHIP went live in September 2016 and was supposed to streamline benefits like Medicaid, food stamps, and child care assistance for hundreds of thousands of Rhode Islanders. But almost immediately after the launch, users reported missing benefits and hours long lines and call wait times. We call three, four, five times a day. No one, no one picks up the phone. This new report highlights improvements. 2019 was a watershed year for UHIP as we made significant progress and are now enjoying the benefits of this powerful tool, the document said. The report also notes backlogs have dropped, timeliness has improved across programs, and system incidents are at their lowest. Most encouraging is knowing that 2020 will bring even greater advancements as the technology continues to improve. But the system and the people who rely on it still face challenges. For example, in June 2019, the report says there were still almost 900 known code defects in the system. Earlier this year, the state negotiated a $50 million credit from Deloitte, the company that built and operates UHIP. A spokesperson for the Executive Office of Health and Human Services says that credit is not included in the budget document, and there's still no word on how much of that money may be taken by the federal government. With the Target 12 investigator, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.